morning, day two, Point Grandine. It's beautiful out here. This one couldn't even bother getting dressed. She just wanted to get up and take pictures of things. <laughs> How'd you sleep? Um, I woke up a little bit, but it, it slept good. Good, good. I must have slept really good because I couldn't even tell you snored all night. I'm just saying. So as you can tell, it looks again like a tornado ripped through camp. That tornado has a name, Sugar Pie. But uh, we're, our tent is emptied out. Sugar Pie's just gonna go get out of her pajamas if I can convince her to finally do so. We're gonna get her the rest of her stuff packed up and we're gonna head out probably in maybe an hour or so. Oh, no. You're going to look funny hiking in those. Cool. Stay tuned. <laughs> Night went well. Yeah, it sure did. Except for the frogs. They were pretty loud. <laughs> yeah, the, the bullfrogs just wouldn't shut up all around the lake. Not one of them ever offered us a Budweiser. Yeah, what was up with that? God damn it. <laughs> Ripped off. But, but no, they also, they sounded neat though. Then when you're trying to go to sleep, I slept right through it. <laughs> Good job. Good job. So, it looks like we're packed up and ready to go, huh? Yep, ready to go. Yeah. The painful part's about to occur where you put your pack back on. And say goodbye to camp. Say goodbye to camp. It's always a sad thing. This was a decent camp. Always my favorite part. We're going to watch Sugar Pie throw her pack on for the first time of the day. Well, aren't you sweet? <laughs> I know. But it's good of you to point that out for everybody. I gained weight overnight. <laughs> Could be that chili and mac. Maybe. The no, it's the sweater. The pop tart bits. It's a sweater. <laughs> the sweater's probably gonna come off pretty quick. May as well just take it off now if you're comfortable. I'm. I'm not comfortable. I'm cold. You're gonna be moving <laughs> in a minute. Okay, so flash the 45 minute later card. Flies, I think. You pretty much good to go? Alright, I'll come get my pack. We'll say goodbye to H5 Point Grinding Park. We are saying goodbye to our fire spot. It's good. Really nice spot. Wonderful spot. Let's head, let's make our way out. I will follow you. Here's Sugar Pie tackling the first hill of the morning. We're not wearing our hiking boots today just because I feet are a little bit sore yesterday so uh, we're gonna give it a go with our running shoes it becomes a situation where we need our boots we got them in the meantime sugar pie is gonna go skiing down the pine needle slope hopefully not hit a tree and we're moving along our the other half of the loop today Come on, sugar pie, start moving. I'm going. I'm going. But I'm going to slide.
Well, if we have to do this at every hill, we're going to put our boots back on. All right, well, unfortunately she survived. By the look of it, she's got down the worst of it. I'll go catch up to her and we'll see you on. First kind of climb of the day. Yeah. Yeah. This one was, was a nice little climb. It was fun. Yeah. That's all there is to it. Too bad she still didn't have her Mario outfit because this root system sort of has a mushroom shape to it. Wee! Show off. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Surviving so far? Yeah. Cool. Sugar pie is now feeling the effects of plenty of kilometers in a day in a little bit. I know she won't fall because the camera's on and that only happens when I turn it off, so we're good. I really do this, we really do this show for her safety. She would have been dead by now if we didn't shoot anything. Probably looks like there's lots of climbing on this because I bet that's what you've seen lots of in the from our episode here. Uh, but really, there at least so far today we've had a pretty good long stretch of fairly flat stuff. Uh, if we show you a lot of climbing, it's because that's usually kind of the most interesting features and stuff. And it's usually the most fun too, actually. If we're honest. Going in at least a clockwise direction on this trail, it doesn't appear to be a whole lot of markers. And we're kind of following the obvious, most obvious path, and eventually we see markers and confirmation that we're correct. Uh, and Sugar Pie's been leading for a while now, and that's good because you know this was last year. We walked from one marker to the next and couldn't see another one after that. She would kind of freeze up, and even if there was an obvious trail, so this is great. Okay. We're taking a break. We're along this little pond here, which is part of a little river and creek system. Uh, pretty, isn't it? I can hear a fall or a rapid over here. Can't see it from where I'm at. I'm not sure if the trail's gonna bring us by there or not. But yeah, not so bad. This fella here is my hero. He's eating one of these fucking mosquitoes that are annoying the hell out of me. This is why we love dragonflies. So your pie's spraying up for the bugs. They finally decided that she tastes pretty good apparently. And they've been going after her ass a little. Yay. Maybe they'll leave me alone. Those look good. Oh, it's very good. Nice and sweet. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get some more as soon as I turn this camera off. Here we are. We're getting close to probably our crossing. We're fairly close to our crossing. Oh, which means we're getting close to our our hike here. That's kind of 
bittersweet. <laughs> a little bit. Less. This is probably our last break before we get to the boat crossing. So this could be the last time we see sugar pie alive. <laughs> um, I think I'll be okay. She <laughs> thinks she'll be okay. Cool. Well, there's a milestone for sugar pie and I. We made it all the way around this here loop. It's supposed to be 21 kilometers. I'm going to do some actual figuring that out. If it was 21, it felt like it. <laughs> it did. Oh, woohoo! Yeah. Good news. We've been excited about this kind of since we did it yesterday. We're at the crossing back in the canoe bags are in the canoe I will say much easier to deal with that than in a kayak uh, we'll see how things go sugar pie is about to hop in it's not awkward at all Pie's liking. She has a front seat. I'm letting her do it at all. We're gonna have to solo it back in separate canoes. So I'm gonna have her get out and take the bags. And then she gets to her own canoe to solo it back. able to get out dryly okay now pull me up alongside of there Making sure you got it. It looks funny sitting in the front all by herself, but it's probably actually pretty effective with this wind. At least it keeps the boat on the boat in the water, not wanting to get blown around. I'm getting blown back slightly, but I'm not getting spun. I'm gonna go join her now. Well, good news. We survived the water crossing. Everything's back where it should be. And sugar pies heading off on the last leg of our hike here at Point Grandine. Went when to Goose, a Wem to Goose Falls Trail. Good, huh? Yeah. All right, let's go. Well, we're almost at the end. We should be back to the parking lot quite soon, and. But the mosquitoes are kind of annoying us right now, so sugar pie is spraying up. I just did. And then we're going to head off on uh, Derv's Landing. We're going right. And that's going to take us around to the parking lot and be done with Port Gar Point Grinding. Yeah. Almost there. All right. That's the plan. That's the plan. We've had some pretty decent uh, views along this journey so far. We're about to get one that I was not ex that I was not expecting.
the Laquash Mountains. We're gonna get real acquainted with those real soon. Yes, I was not expecting this view. But I'm sure heck glad we got it. Is that worth it? Yes. Yeah. This is uh we're getting close to the end of our uh, adventure weekend here at Point Grandine and this is kind of a pretty nice way to cap it all off. I'm kinda of, sorta of glad we didn't start by going this way. You know, this is sort of a like nice little prize for the end. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say. Yeah, we're gonna get some pictures and stuff up here for sure right now. And uh, probably next time we see you, we'll be down a little bit closer to the car. But in the meantime, we're gonna have to take all this. We suspect we're nearing the last of these torturous rock climbs because over here's cars and actually got a peek of either roadway or something just down below a moment ago. So we're just about done. gone a bit further I'm sure in the last two days than any other two days two day adventures before and sugar pie looks like she's sort of feeling it but I'm glad she's feeling it and I want her to push through feeling it I kind of wish it was another couple hours to go so we could get beyond feeling tired and into feeling dead or just zombies on our feet because it's honestly good training and good practice you know you get used to the real, real hard stuff, and anything less than that's just you know, like treat. Yeah, I don't like your ideas. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yeah, this is not a bad spot. I mean, you know, cover lots of ground, and out here for several hours, we kind of get to see some of these really cool places. So there's an upshot. Yeah, I admit that uh, there there are some, definitely some beautiful places here. Mm. Definitely a big upside. There you go. Sugar Pies, who never stresses about anything, got a little bit scared when she saw where we were going, but I think we're all right. I'm not worried. It's kind of cool. Got it. You're not that high anyway. Where are you gonna fall? Actually, you get a little bit wet or fall into the mud. Here we are. We made it. Should have had me out in a moment. This is it. We did it. Come on down. Awesome job. Fist <laughs> bump. Yeah. To the parking lot. That was awesome. Good job. How, how, how do you like Point Grandine? How was that? I love it. It was really, it was really an awesome place. Cool. We're still getting eaten alive by these mosquitoes. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, hit that like and subscribe, and see you next time.